Hello guys. The movie is about a wandering spirit named A who experiences every day in the body of a different teenager. One day, A wakes up in the body of a teenager named Justin who sets two alarms on his phone. We meet Justin's girlfriend Rhiannon, whom he neglects a lot. From the beginning, it's clear that Rhiannon puts a lot of effort into their relationship while Justin just pretends to be there. We see that Justin hasn't replied to any of her messages from the night before. On the other hand, she keeps on checking her phone for his response. After getting ready, she leaves for school with her sister Jolene. Meanwhile, Justin, who's possessed by A, also arrives at his school but fails to recognize any of Justin's friends. Later, Rhiannon approaches Justin and apologizes for texting him multiple times last night. She thinks that Justin is upset at her and, as usual, is taking her for granted. But to her surprise, Justin apologizes to her, saying he should have texted back, which cheers Rhiannon up. As their conversation goes on, Rhiannon convinces A to skip school with her and the pair take off in Justin's car. After singing together in the car, the couple arrives on a beach. Rhiannon feels that Justin is not acting normal and is very carefree, which is not like him. However, with the fear of ruining everything, she doesn't mention anything. Eventually, Rhiannon confides in her troubled home life following her father's mental breakdown, almost resulting in her family losing their home. As a result, he's left his job and her mother has to work part-time. Also, she reveals that her father spends most of his time painting faces. Hearing this, A calmly explains to her that sometimes a person just needs a break. Rhiannon listens to him quietly and feels better after opening up to him, and the two kiss. Later that day, A drops her at her home. As they part, A alludes to the fact that tomorrow will be different, and she may not feel the same vibes again. But Rhiannon responds that tomorrow is tomorrow, and that today should end on a nice note. Rhiannon somehow feels a rekindled love for Justin, seemingly a more caring and different person. The next day, A wakes up in the body of a girl named Amy. Once again, she takes a picture and sets two alarms on her phone, just as she did while in Justin's body. She changes her school and shifts into Rhiannon's school. Then she goes to the school and asks Rhiannon if she can be her shadow since it's a new school for her. Rhiannon agrees to keep her as her shadow. In science class, she introduces Amy to her friend named Rebecca, and also her lab partner Alexander, who has a crush on Rhiannon. Meanwhile, she realizes that Justin has reverted to his old, careless self and does not remember the previous day. When Justin gets angry with Rhiannon, Amy intervenes and insults him. Rhiannon is quite shocked by this, but Justin reminds Rhiannon about the party and leaves. After Justin leaves, Amy apologizes to Rhiannon, claiming that she deserves better than this, and also affectionately moves Rhiannon's hair behind her ear. Weirded out by this, she leaves after asking Alexander to take care of Amy. The next day, A wakes up as Nathan and sets two alarms as usual. Whereas Rhiannon had gone to a party with Justin at his friend's house. Feeling alone, she plays the song that they listened to in the car, but she does not get the expected reaction. Soon, A attends the party and finds Rhiannon who has been left alone by Justin. Both of them start to dance together, and Nathan introduces himself as Steve's cousin. As Nathan and Rhiannon are enjoying themselves, Justin arrives there and asks about him. Nathan simply replies that he's Steve's gay cousin. Upon hearing this, the possessive Justin is relaxed and goes back to his friends. Later, A takes Rhiannon into a side house in the garden where they have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation there. Eventually, A and Rhiannon bond yet again as he tells Rhiannon that she deserves better. Meanwhile, Justin learns that Steve doesn't have a cousin and feels suspicious about Nathan. Just then, A's alarm starts to ring while sitting near Rhiannon, so he runs from there while Justin tries to chase him off. The next day, when Rhiannon comes to school, she sees Justin along with a bunch of other students discussing the news. Apparently, in the news, Nathan claims that he was possessed by a demon, causing him to lose consciousness. That day, A gets up in the body of a blind person. That's why he's unable to do anything and neither can meet Rhiannon. The following day, Rhiannon gets a message from an unknown number in which she's asked to meet the person in a bookstore. She thinks that this must be Nathan. Not sure what to do, her friend Rebecca convinces her that she should go. Rhiannon agrees with her and goes to the bookstore in hopes of meeting Nathan. There, A arrives as Megan, explaining that Justin, Amy, and Nathan were all him and confesses that he has fallen in love with her. He explains to her that he's a traveling spirit who wakes up in a different body every day. The body is always of the same age, but he never gets the same body twice, and he has no control over it. Rhiannon considers it as some kind of joke, but as she's about to leave, A repeats the fortune that he found out in the fortune cookie 
and also reminds her of her father. But Rhiannon still thinks of all of it as some kind of prank and leaves. Initially hesitant, Rhiannon agrees to meet with A the next day. Now in the body of James, A reveals that he's shifted bodies every day since infancy. To end her suspicions, Rhiannon questions him, but A answers all the questions without any difficulty. Eventually, A shows her a private Instagram account with pictures taken in every person's body he was in, through which Rhiannon can communicate with A. However, Rhiannon still doesn't believe him and asks for some time before leaving. After thinking about the incident a lot, she goes to meet Nathan the next day and asks him about the day he believed he was possessed by the devil. Now, Rhiannon is finally convinced that whatever A is claiming is actually real. The next day in school, while she's walking with Justin and Rebecca, Rhiannon spots a transgender person named Vic coming toward her. She realizes that it's A and goes after them. Once again, A tells her that he felt something special when he met Rhiannon. A convinces Rhiannon to give him a chance, suggesting that it's the soul that matters, not the body. After some thought, Rhiannon agrees to continue meeting A. On the same day, she goes to Justin's house to study. To test him, she asks him what he remembers about the day they went to the beach. However, Justin gives irrelevant answers to the events. The next day, Rhiannon keeps messaging A the entire day. Then she goes to meet him at a library after school. There, A tells Rhiannon that he's been in this condition since childhood, but only realized this reality when he was six. He also reveals to her that in all these years, he could never find anybody like him. Eventually, the two of them kiss but are interrupted when the host mother comes there. As a result, Rhiannon is forced to leave but with a smile on her face. Next, surprised to awaken in the body of Rhiannon herself, A sees it as an opportunity to get to know her better. He promises to respect Rhiannon's privacy and her life by not breaking up with Justin or looking at Rhiannon's naked body. Over the course of the day, A bonds with Rhiannon's mother as well as her sister and father. After coming back from school, A spends time with Rhiannon's father. He asks her father why does he paint. He tells him that when he started his job, he left painting. But now, he prioritizes painting more than ever. He also offers A to paint and he accepts it. At the end of the day, A writes a letter for Rhiannon. He writes that he tried his best to leave all the memories for Rhiannon and goes to sleep. The following day, having finally found the courage, Rhiannon breaks up with Justin. She immediately calls A for a weekend trip to her uncle Calvin's cabin. In the body of Xavier, A talks about the day spent in Rhiannon's body. Rhiannon then tells him that leaving a mark could be a good thing as people will know the existence of A. However, he feels obligated to leave people's memories unchanged. When Rhiannon asks him why he can't stay in one body for more than a day, he tells her that at midnight, the person's body pushes his soul out of it. Hearing this, Rhiannon suggests he push back once, but A tells her that it's not his property and that's why he never tried it. At the end of the day, A kisses Rhiannon goodbye and plans to return the next day after changing the body. The next day, Rhiannon keeps on waiting for him, but he doesn't come back. As a result, Rhiannon is forced to call her mother to pick her up. Throughout the day, she keeps texting A but gets no reply. The next day, A wakes up as a boy named Michael who's going out of the country. Immediately, he calls Rhiannon and asks her to pick him up before jumping out of the balcony to escape from there. Soon, Rhiannon takes A to her home and asks why he didn't contact her the previous day, to which he explains that day's body was undergoing a lung transplant. Rhiannon and A gradually become intimate and promise they'll figure out how to maintain their relationship. The next day, A wakes up in the body of the suicidal teen, Kelsey. At school, Rhiannon becomes increasingly distanced from her friends and also her classmates, apparently because she's been dating multiple dudes. Later, she meets A and learns about Kelsey's suicidal tendencies. Rhiannon convinces A to attempt to hold on to Kelsey's body for more than 24 hours to keep her alive until Kelsey's father can be alerted about her struggles. Initially, A is hesitant, but eventually agrees to do so at Rhiannon's request. Fortunately, he's successful in staying inside Kelsey's body and asks her father to help her. The following day, A wakes up in Rhiannon's classmate Alexander's body. When he sees his room, he gets really impressed by his optimistic behavior. Later that day, when he meets Rhiannon at the school, he praises Alexander a lot. That day, the two of them spend the day in each other's company and have a lot of fun. Later that night, Rhiannon convinces A to stay in the body of Alexander so they can remain together. So, for the next few days, he stays in Alexander's body. To do this, A doesn't sleep at night because whenever he sleeps, he has to jump into another body. Seizing the opportunity, he spends a lot of time with Rhiannon. They're both very happy and are happily lost in their own beautiful world. 
One day, when the two return to Alexander's house, they see that his family has prepared dinner for Alexander's birthday celebration and is waiting for him. Rhiannon realizes that she has to leave after seeing them. Shortly after, A gets scolded by Alexander's mother, and he starts to feel guilty for controlling Alexander's life. At that moment, he realizes that though this seems to work for a short time, he's unwilling to take over someone else's life permanently. Alone with Rhiannon at Alexander's house, A tells her that they cannot really be together forever. He says to Rhiannon that they should end this relationship because a lot of people are getting hurt because of it. She tries to convince him otherwise and suggests that they should continue doing this. But A questions her that they might continue this relationship right now. But what would they do after 10 years? When would they get married? Who would she marry? And she can't hide his identity forever. Eventually, A suggests that Alexander himself is perfect for Rhiannon and that he would be keeping her from his life. Realizing that this is their last night together, Rhiannon and A dance and talk. As they wait for midnight, A tells her that this is the nice note, alluding to Rhiannon's comment to Justin about ending their day together on a nice note. The next day, A wakes up in yet another body and drives to New York, while Rhiannon meets Alexander at school. 